You know, this is a proper off-road. Don't even know where I'm going. In this video, I'm gonna talk about electric bike. This is the Angui EP2 Pro. Fat tire bike that I've been testing for the last three weeks. And I'm gonna show you my honest opinion, starting from unboxing. So basically it took me about an hour to unbox and put it up together. It wasn't that straightforward, but it's manageable. What I was impressed by was the fact how premium the bike was. I like all the accessories. You've got the rack at the back, you've got the lights in the front and the back, you've got bell and you've got kickstand. You know, some of the companies charge extra for this. So big thumb up angry for those accessories. In terms of riding, I did not have any issues. Honestly, it's such a pleasure to ride. I was not expecting that I will be commuting to work for four days in a row on an electric bike. And it's funny enough, lots of people were asking me how cool this bike was and if it was electric, they were asking me about the range, performance, etc. When I told them I was able to get over 30 miles on there, they could not believe it. I don't want to go too much in details about some of the specification. I literally want to share my experience. And I have to say, five hours to fully charge this bike, it is a pretty reasonable time. It took two hours to get to half of the battery. The charging cable is around two meters long, which is really good. I like the fact that this bike is suitable for all ages. Taller people, I'm 177 centimeters, which is 5'10". My 11-year-old son, when I broke the seat down, was able to have fun on this electric bike. And he told me that he absolutely loved the experience riding. He was actually asking me uh, if he could take this bike to ride to school. Because the weather was so good for the last couple of weeks, I was actually going on this bike to work, which is about seven miles one way and seven the other way around, which is, you know, quite a long distance. Again, I'm gonna mention, I love the fact that this is the folding bike and it's great that you can put it in the car. Sadly, it's because it's so heavy, it's really tricky to put it into your boots. And when I was taking it with me to the forest, I noticed that I scratched the wheels without even knowing, which is a bit of shame. So let me show you how to turn on the bike. You press this little button here. So this is for your acceleration. And I have to say, I like the design of this handles. It makes it very comfortable to ride. So this is the LCD display. It's not the brightest, but it does the job. You can see this is state of the battery. I wish there was showing how many miles we are able to do. And as you can see, I just cover over 100 miles in that period of time. Using these buttons here, you can change different modes there are different there are five modes this is the most powerful one four three two and of course you go one or you can even just do the pedaling without any assistance whatsoever now when this bike arrived to my home it was limited to 25 kilometers per hour because some of the requirements here in the uk so make sure you check your country because i notice in some of the Facebook groups that, you know, these bikes been banned in some of the country. So just be careful with that. I was able to unlock it and get the speed up to 33 miles going down here, which is pretty insane for bike. We have very powerful 750 watt motor with 55 newton meters of torque. There is a lot of power here, trust me. We've got a little bell here. You got the seven gears Shimano and they're doing the job. I love the fact that we've got suspensions in the front. And another very important thing is the price. You can purchase this electric bike for under thousand pounds, which in my opinion is a huge value for money. I was looking at some mountain electric bikes and they cost a lot of money. Some of them like 5,000 or even more. Like. Again, this is not a proper mountain bike, it's more for commute, but if you wanna go off-road, then you should be absolutely fine. Now, 
things that could be improved in my opinion the brakes they're squeaky and they are okay my little advice when you fold this bike and put it in your car or someone make sure you take the key out i left the key and sadly it got bent as i mentioned before this is a heavy bike but when you ride it you don't actually feel the weight of this bike because of the power i was going off-road honestly it does the job you know grass different terrain the fat tires are doing a pretty good job going off-road right this is not mountain bike i went proper off-road and after a couple of minutes i noticed some of the components got loose which is not a good thing i'm glad i had some tools with me so make sure you stick to the road and maybe occasionally go off-road for me, the big positive is the fact this is the folding bike. It is very heavy. It weighs just over 30 kilograms. Great that we've got the handle that we can move it around. However, I just wouldn't recommend taking this up the stairs. Let's talk about the range. I was able to get about 25 miles using the throttle most of the time. Nevertheless, the range depends on all the different factors, how heavy you are. If you do lots of pedaling, which pedal assistance you're actually using. I believe if you go gentle level two, which is more eco-friendly, do more pedaling. I don't think there should be a problem getting up to 50 miles range, which is still pretty good for such a heavy bike. I really like the fact that we've got cruise control. So basically you just turn the acceleration, you hold it for a couple of seconds when you release the bike will automatically carry on with the speed you're actually going, which is very useful when you just want to cruise around. Love it. I like the flexibility with charging because, as I mentioned before, this is a heavy bike. If you live in the flat, you don't want to carry bike with you. You simply get the battery out, take it with you, charge it, job done. Now, let me tell you one thing that really bothers me is the fact the key positioning is very low. And sometimes it takes a little while to get the key in. Another thing that I don't like is the fact sometimes the key doesn't go in. You need to make sure that this bolt is sticking out. Sometimes I literally have to open the bike and push the battery in in order to get this. This is for protection. Otherwise, you know, you will not be able to get your key in there. So this is one of the downsizes, but it's not a big deal. If you're charging your bike with the battery inside, then you're absolutely fine. Last year, I purchased electric scooter because I thought they were pretty cool. However, I noticed I just was not using it enough because of the limitation. Here, I can actually go commute. I can go to work. The range is big. So this is something that I would mention. Instead of buying an electric scooter get yourself an electric bike you will not be disappointed especially folding bike if you are using your bike at night you definitely will not be disappointed the led lights doing a fantastic job this is a definitely a bike that i would highly recommend for everyone and brings a smile to your face make sure you check links in the description below if you want to purchase one they're doing some good deals at the moment Hope you enjoyed this episode. Please let me know your thoughts and I'll catch you guys in the next video. I am hoping to do more reviews of electric bikes, so stick around.